So I watched a lot of videos on making uh, archery targets out of carpet, but uh, nobody really got into actual details on exactly what they used and all that. So I've had a hard time kind of figuring out what uh, what I needed. So I figured I'd just record my whole process. This is a stack of carpet that I've cut uh, 16 inches deep by 32 inches long. Uh, the stack right now is 24 inches tall. I have a feeling I'm going to need more carpet, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and build this thing out and uh, see what it comes to when it's compressed. Um, basically what I'm going to do is end up using some uh, 3 quarter inch plywood here. I've already got marked to uh, cut to the uh, to compress it. I want to use some 2x4s also and some threaded rod to do the compression. Okay, here are my sides. Plywood, 3 quarter inch plywood, 2x4s. Put a couple screws in there just to kind of hold them in place. So. Uh, drilled holes for my threaded rod to go through. Let me get this kind of assembled a little bit and uh, get a little better idea what I'm doing. Okay, this is going to be half of it. Said I got uh, my threaded rod coming through with nut and washer on it in the, uh, the four corner. So what I'm going to do is flip this whole thing over like so. And I'm going to start stacking my carpet in here. And then I've got the other side to go on and tighten the whole thing down and compress it. Uh, this is 3 8, 3 8 inch threaded rod I'm using. It's um, 36 inches long. I'm not sure I need it that long, but uh, I'll cut it off if I don't. So let me get to uh, stacking some carpet. All right, here. I got all my carpet in place. This is going to be the front side of the target. So I try to keep it nice and square as it goes down so you know, I have a nice flat area on the front and uh, got my threaded rod and washers coming out here on the top. Uh, right now between the two, uh, the top and the bottom, I'll call them plates I guess, it's 24 inches. I haven't started to compress it yet so uh, let me get to turning some, uh, some bolts, nuts and bolts here and uh, tighten this thing down and See what the uh, the ending height comes out to be. Okay, I finally got it finished. Ended up taking the 24 inches and compressing it down to 17 inches. Uh, I tried it at 18 and it uh, didn't stop the arrow. And I'm gonna have to replace this 2 by 4 on the end. It had so many knots in it. Used the wrong one for right here. That it's actually bowing out. You can see it probably going to end up cutting the rods off. I might end up adding some more carpet to make it a little wider. But it ended up being 17 inches wide. And just painted some yellow, uh, little yellow targets on it. Okay, I'm going to be shooting at about 20 yards. Barnett Wildcat C5 crossbow. And I'm going to set up down range so uh, it'll be up close to the target. Okay, well, I wish it would stop it a little sooner, but at least it's not going through. And it's actually pretty, pretty easy to just draw it out. Hasn't even scratched them. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to keep tweaking it. I'll uh, probably get a new 2x4 so I can get even pressure across because uh, uh, it's tighter at the top and the bottom than it is right here in the center. So. Yeah, can't go bad. I only spent four bucks on this, and that was just to buy the threaded rods. Had everything else laying around.